Hey what's up guys, Chris here just acknowledging the fact that it has been a minute since I've made a YouTube video. Sorry about that, not a lot's been going on today. I do have a legitimate reason to make a video for you guys. So here it goes, finally you've probably already heard but the iOS 5.01 untethered jailbreak is out for all Apple devices running with the A4 processor. So basically that means that this jailbreak is going to be for the uh, iPod Touch uh, 3G and 4G. Um, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and like the first iPad. Not the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S yet, because those of course are on Apple's new A5 processor, and as of now, that's not compatible with this jailbreak. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, for kicks and giggles, I'm going to show you uh, today using my iPhone 4. I'm going to go ahead and show you that I am on iOS 5.0, so of course in order to do this update, I'm going to need to upgrade to iOS 5.0.1. Link for that is going to be down in the video description. It'll go to my website where I have a written guide and also all the download links that you will need. Also, if you're already on 5.0, you can go ahead and just use the over-the-air update in your settings to go ahead and upgrade to uh, iOS 5.0.1 from 5.0. I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and also just a quick warning before we get started. As of now, there's no way to downgrade from 5.0.1 back to 5.0 or lower. So any of you guys who are concerned about that, that you won't be able to downgrade back, you might want to wait until a new uh, downgrade flow is uh, released to the public before you can do all that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. First of all, I'm going to go into settings, and uh, we'll go ahead and get out of the about here. We're going to go ahead and go to software update. And it's going to check for an update here and let me know that iOS 5.0.1 is available. I will go ahead and tap install now. And of course I agree to the terms and conditions. I'm going to be made into a human Sentipad. Looks like it's verifying the update and uh, I'll uh, go ahead and speed this up a little bit for you guys. Alright, now the phone's restarting it looks like. Alright, looks like the update progress bar has come up on the screen and we'll have to wait for that to complete. While your iOS 5.0 device is upgrading, uh, probably a good idea to do right now while we're waiting for that is to go ahead and go on over to uh, the links below to my website and just go ahead and download Red Snow. A uh, good thing is that this is available for either Windows or Mac. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you on Mac, but there's two separate download links that you'll see there. So go ahead and get your Red Snow downloaded so we're ready to go once your iOS device is done upgrading. Alright, looks like we're about halfway done. So far the update's been going for about three or four minutes. Alright, looks like now the iPhone is booting up. And it looks like now we have another little progress bar. Uh, we'll wait for that to complete and uh, we'll continue from here. Okay, now it looks like it's uh, finished installing the update and hopefully it's booting into iOS 5.0.1 now. Also, iTunes just popped up on my computer because I'm also plugged in because my phone is about to go dead, so I don't know if that's going to start syncing. Uh, also, before you do this jailbreak, it's probably not a bad idea, just letting you know right now, to go ahead and back up your iOS device into iTunes. That way if something goes wrong, uh, you'll have a backup. Okay, now that this thing is on and booted up into iOS 5.0.1, it looks like we're actually ready to get started with the jailbreak now. I'm going to go ahead and pop my computer screen up on your video screen here, and you can follow along with me. Really recommend that you watch this one time through just to get the hang of it and then follow along with me on the second time, but that is up to you, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so by now you should have already downloaded this red snow here via the link down in the description. If you haven't, go check that out, get it downloaded. I am using the Mac version today because, of course, I am using my Mac. And what we're going to go ahead and do is first unzip the file out to our desktop. Let's go ahead and open up the folder. Um, and here you're going to see a few files. You want to go ahead and just open up the Red Snow application. Click open. Yes, we trust it. Okay, and by now you should have your iPhone or other iDevice that you're jailbreaking today plugged into your computer. Next step here is to go ahead and click on the jailbreak button. And once we click that button, we're going to go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions here. It says, please make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer. So let's go ahead and take care of that first. I'm going to go ahead and hold down my power button until I get the slide to power off. And it is also still plugged into the computer. All right, we'll let that power down. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of these instructions here. If it is not off, plug the device into the computer first and hold down the power button. We already did that. It says click next only when your device is both off and plugged in. Looks like we're still powering down here, so we'll wait just a second for that. If you already know how to enter DFU mode, you may do so right now from this screen without clicking next. We're going to go ahead and click next so it gives us a little guide so I can show you guys exactly how to get into DFU mode. It's pretty easy. So, looks like the iPhone is now off. Let's go ahead and click on the next button. 
And let's go ahead and get started. It says hold down the power button in the top right hand corner for two seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and press the power button and the home button at the exact same time for five seconds. And now as soon as this sits on counting down without releasing the home button, we're going to release the power button, but keep pressing the home button for about 15 seconds. So we'll let that count down there on the screen. And it looks like we've still got about seven seconds to go. I'm going to keep holding this down even though it's set on the screen that we can let go. And now I'll go ahead and let go. We'll set the iPhone back down. And as you can see here, it looks like it's uploading the first stage, uploading the second stage, and waiting for the reboot. I'm telling you guys, this is going to be one of the most easiest jailbreaks that you will do. And they just keep getting easier and easier every time. And pretty soon, I'm probably not going to have to make these videos anymore. But if you guys still want me to, I still will. So it looks like we're uh, processing the kernel. Doing a whole bunch of other things. Just let this roll and just don't unplug your iPhone or other iDevice because that would suck. All right, now it's going to go ahead and ask us some uh, questions here on our screen. Of course, we want to install Cydia. Uh, I'm asking you if you want to install a custom bundle or en enable multitask gestures, which I'm not going to do. The, multi the multitask gestures are more meant for the iPad, I believe, and I don't want to throw those onto my iPhone. So I'm just going to leave this as is. You guys can experiment around a little bit and uh, do what you like there. We'll go ahead and click next. And it looks like it's waiting for the reboot again. And you notice here on our screen we now have something that says downloading jailbreak data. And for some reason my camera doesn't want to focus today. It's very strange. But uh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Downloading jailbreak data. Now it says rebooting here on the screen again. It says the rest of the process will take place on your device. You're going to notice some verbose uh, text coming up on the screen here. Don't let that freak you out. It's just doing its job. And uh, the last few jailbreaks have actually looked that way. So that's great. All right. Looks like we have another screen here. Looks like jailbreaking, moving application. So it's doing its thing there. We'll let that roll. And uh, I'll probably pause the video and come back when this completes. Okay, it looks like that process is finished up and the iDevice is now rebooting. Uh, hopefully it'll boot right into a jailbroken iOS 5.0.1. We'll be able to see Cydia out on the home screen. Okay, looks like we're back at the home screen. I am still searching for a signal. We'll make sure that acquires a 3G signal. I hope it does. We slide it to unlock. I'm going to go ahead and look for Cydia. There it is, Cydia. Let's go ahead and see if it'll open up. I'm sure it will. Pod2G definitely knows what he is doing. Good guy. All right, who are you? Uh, I always do developer just so I can see all the packages that are installed. So anyway, it looks like this is working. We have Cydia on the iPhone 4. Um, keep in mind, again, that this will work with uh, any iOS devices running the uh, A4 processor. Um, excluded from that are iOS devices with the uh, A5 processor, which are the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. Anyway, there you guys go. You're now jailbroken. If you had any troubles with that, uh, leave me some comments down below the video or even send me a PM. You guys can help each other out down there in the comments. Also, I'll respond to the comments as well. And like I said before, don't forget to subscribe so you always know when I come out with new videos. And also hit that like button. And also, there will be some links down below the video just to go like me on Facebook if you guys want to do that. I post on Facebook quite a bit. It's not always about... Uh, tech related stuff but there I always post something cool on there so check that out and also there's updates on there if I haven't made a video in a while so couldn't hurt to go like the Facebook page that is about it uh, I will catch you guys in the next video peace